This girl can has had an amazing impact. 2.8 million women have told us that they became more active as a direct result of seeing the ad and 1.6 million of those were coming back to exercise for the first time or after a long time away. When I first watched the advert, it stood out as a very interesting and dynamic video. They had images and wording in there that were very unique and different to the typical gym advert or the typical fitness advert. There was a line that said something like, I'm, I jiggle, therefore I am. And I think it's a very powerful statement because it means that women can be comfortable in that kind of environment. What I'm proudest of is when you look at our social media and you see the individual tweets and posts and Facebook posts of women sharing their own images of themselves being active um, and seeing what an impact it's had on them, helping to normalise sport and physical activity for a, a whole new range of women. What we're about is building up confidence to help women manage their own fear of judgement. Confidence isn't something that you buy, put it on the shelf and it's there forever. Um, it's something you need to keep topping up. So we need to be out there still reminding women that yeah, they can get out there and do it and yes, women like them are doing it. We need leisure centres to do a similar thing, to really think about what the women and the girls who are attracted to um, their sessions by This Girl Can, what are the things that are going to make it more appealing out to them and what are the things that are going to encourage them to come back. Many women told us that they know sport and exercise is good for them and actually 75% of women have told us that they'd like to be more active. The practical and emotional barriers are the things that are holding them back and those emotional barriers fear of judgement is something that women have been telling us about all over the country. Women of all different ages, all different backgrounds. Women tell us that they don't necessarily feel like they would fit in to a sporty environment. You know, for those of us who may be in a leisure centre more often, we forget that actually um, it can be quite confusing. And particularly if you're new to sport and exercise, you just need someone to kind of reassure you when you walk in the door. I think for any female coming into the centre, that first impression they get maybe dictates whether they, they keep coming to the centre. The first contact is reception. They want to see a smiley face, they don't want the barrier going up saying, oh, I'm really sorry we can't fit you in. Everyone that walks through the door faces a barrier and it's just that first customer service, can I help you? Is everything okay? Enjoy your swim, how was your swim? How was your session today? Little things like that mean the world to people. We run an hours women only session, it's called This Girl Can Swim, and I've been doing it for about a year now. So I'm there on poolside just to offer a bit of personal support um, for any women who, who come along who aren't used to the environment and they feel a bit intimidated by the environment. I'm there to just give them that extra support so they feel more comfortable and hopefully build up a relationship so they'll come back. It's not forced, it's not pressured. They can come one week if they want, they don't have to come the following week, but they know that when they go there, they're welcomed into a, a warm, friendly environment. Just that little bit of engagement has really helped with customer attention. To kind of put people at ease, we have people welcoming them into the session, actually being that face at reception, or when someone arrives to say, oh, I'm here for the This Girl Can Swim session, signposting them straight away in the right direction, not just saying to them, or just go straight through there because they'll walk into that environment and it'll be even more nerve-wracking for them. Something that we always drill into coaches is whenever they start a new session, is anyone new here? Hi, my name's Emily, nice to meet you, introduce yourself. I've been into certain gyms, not mentioning any names, but you do feel the sense that the instructor's there because he's an instructor, not that he really wants to say hello to people. But if you go around, you. It makes your job more interesting, you get to know everybody in here. And it's not being false, it's taking that actual interest. So if you can do that, you can build that sort of rapport. First thing I do is I pick them up from reception, I know exactly when they're going to be arriving. Just give them their orientation around the gym. If you know where you're going, you know where you're getting changed, you know what you're doing, you've got to feel more relaxed. Rather than if you think, oh my god, I don't really want to ask that guy, I've never met that instructor before. Through email or telephone conversations, we, we engage with the participants and make sure that they're comfortable before they come to the session. If they're not from a sporty environment, they're put off by the small things like kit or what to bring, um, so we make sure that we break down those barriers. The kinds of things that women will say to us about being judged for their appearance will be things like having a red face when exercising, 
um, being quite sweaty because you know that's what happens when you exercise um, but also things like jiggling about um, there's a real kind of worry that women have about how they look but also how they're perceived by others. Something unique around the This Girl Can project, we put some hooks on poolside so ladies if you want to walk on poolside in your towel rather than just being in your swimsuit then you can do that so you don't feel intimidated walking through a, a unisex changing village, go on to poolside, take everything with you. Not only are they swimming, they're feeling more comfortable going into a costume, into a pool. It breaks the bow because now they've got their step in, they've found their feet um, and they've met other females who probably feel the same way. And then that way when they come in, they're not on their own. Sometimes it's a cultural thing as well. And we have quite a lot of Muslim ladies who would swim on a Thursday just because it was a women only session. We've run a BME ladies group around dance and activity. One of the main barriers for them was a leisure centre. So what we did for the first six weeks is went out to their community centre with our staff, um, delivered the programme, the session, broke down them barriers, um, let them wear what they were comfortable in wearing, so let them do what they wanted to do. Um, and off the back of that, they've now integrated into some of the leisure centre settings. And if we hadn't have gone to them first, they would have never have just come in off their own back. The kinds of things that women tell us about in terms of ability and the fears that they have there, it's essentially a fear of not being fit enough amongst other particularly sporty people that might be there in that environment or not being good enough and being able to keep up with a certain class. Sometimes we get people that can't get up to the trampoline. So instead of getting a, 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 a step or something while they're there, the step's there at the start of the trampoline. And I would always encourage everybody to use the step to get up on the trampoline. So then no one's got a problem with, I don't want to use it, you have to use it, I don't want to. So it's there and it's just part of the process. So you prep things in advance that you kind of think might be barriers that are just taken away. Another thing, a little bit delicate, but women on a trampoline who have had babies, there might be issues with needing the toilet. So again, if you just completely say, anytime you need the toilet, then go, it's not a problem. So you take away that fear, you take away that awkwardness that's around it. It's essential that each customer coming through the door, they get the sense of success with their first visit. So it has to be pitched at the right level to ensure that they're able to achieve what's really expected of them and, and to actually achieve their own expectations of themselves as well. If participants have issues with certain skills within the session, I always make sure that they can come and chat to me before the session or, and it's not within a group environment. Um, and we keep that information confidential. We always give coaches the heads up as well, so if someone made an inquiry that was really nervous, a bit, a bit timid about coming, we'd have a quiet word with the coach and say, oh, watch out for so-and-so, they might be coming down tonight, they're a bit scared, a bit nervous, and then they're prepared as well. For many women, sport has a lot of baggage that comes with it. Even just the word, you know, that it's competitive, that it's aggressive, but we know that Women also have many different motivations for being active. So it's really about sort of bringing some of those other ones to the fore. I guess designing a space where women can feel that there are other people like them that they can interact with. Interaction between the classes is essential because it builds sort of a community within the gym. I'm not saying they're going to be great friends, but they know they can attend a class at a certain time. Different people are going to be there. They feel relaxed, friendly. I get to know everyone's name who comes along. So get them to join in, get them to count, have a laugh. I offer a fitness class for new mums to come and exercise with their babies so they don't have to worry about childcare. They meet other mums socially as well and talk about parenting and what they're going through if they've had a bad night or so it's really good after the class as well. We sit and have a coffee and all mums get together. You want them to have a positive experience here and think, oh, do you know what, I'm going to go back again. I enjoyed that. I liked seeing Heather. She gave me some tips or, or whatever. Or they'll meet some people in the pool and they'll see the same people every week. So my walking netball session that I run, I've had a lady who started attending the sessions and then two months into it fell just going shopping and broke her arm and her nose and her confidence was really low. Um, but she still attended the sessions each week 
Um, she wasn't participating, but she was there and she was seeing a group of friends that she'd actually, two months before, they weren't her friends, but she's been coming week on week just to see everybody, have a coffee afterwards and keep, keep the momentum of the group going, and, which is really nice to see, and now she's back participating. I'm really excited about the next phase of This Girl Can. We've extended our age range, so we're featuring women aged from 14 right the way up to 60 and beyond. This Girl Can has always been more than just a marketing campaign. We need it to connect absolutely to the experience that women and girls have when they go out to the leisure centre or wherever they're going to take part in sport and physical activity. Lots of leisure operators are doing some of this already and that's fantastic. For all of us, there's always more that we can do and there's always more challenges to take on. We want to find out what does and doesn't work. We want to learn from you.